1967, Strawberry Studios opened their doors in Stockport. Over 25 years, Strawberry Studios became the most well-known and successful recording studios in the UK outside of London, and artists like Sir Paul McCartney, 10CC and Bay City Rollers recorded albums there between 1972 and 1976. Celebrating 50 years of the studios, last Friday was the opening of Strawberry Studios I Am In Love exhibition at Stockport Story Museum in the Marketplace. We talked to Dr. Peter Wadsworth, music historian from University of Manchester, to find out more. In the 60s, all recording studios were in London. Bands were coming from all over the country, the Beatles being the prime example from Liverpool, but they had to record in London. So it was just the vision of one man, Peter Tattersall, who decided that it would be good if there was something in the north for northern bands to actually stay where they were and record rather than going to London. It was named after Strawberry Fields Forever, the Beatles hit. Strawberry wanted something different that made them stand out and Eric Stewart's favourite song at the time was Strawberry Fields Forever, so they took the Strawberry name, thinking that would make a great advertising slogan, Strawberry Studios Forever. They took the name but never used the advertising slogan. We also talked to councillor Kate Butler to ask what she thinks of the exhibition. I think the exhibition it should be really inspiring and I think as much as say some of the slightly older generation might come for nostalgic reasons because they remembered the music and they liked the bands, I think the younger generation can come and just see what's possible. Stockport does have a significant music heritage and it's about time we started talking about it. The exhibition runs until 28th January 2018 and is free to enjoy. To find out more about the exhibition, go to stockport.gov.uk slash museums or go to Twitter and use the hashtag strawberry50. Strawberry feels forever.